Hey, so day 19 of my 30 days of react challenge and today I have built a art party RSVP app. Um, I took what I did with my last app and kind of built on that. So passing values from child to parent. Let's take a look. Demo. Um, we have down here a form. Um, basically just what you do is put your name in and your dietary requirements. Let's say I'm a vegan. I'm not, but let's just pretend. Click next. And um, then it brings you to a screen where you can confirm your RSVP details. Um, and you can either X them to go back or confirm. This time around, let's click confirm. And it brings us back to the invite page. Um, we also have this little toggle here where you click. You can see the guests as well as their dietary requirements. Um, and there's another couple of features that I'll demo now as well. Um, the first one is, say I select vegan but I don't put my name in and I click next, I'm going to get an error message pop up that says please fill or um, fields. So let's put another person in. Confirm. Now we have two guests. Um, and the last feature is just say Shelly and she'll eat anything next and then if you get to this page and the details aren't correct then you can exit and go back and it will not log the guest. It's a bit hard to know where to start with this one because there are a lot more features, um, it's a lot more fleshed out than some of the other apps I've done but um, I'll start by just talking through um, state and component. So I have my main app component and then I have two other components which are invite form which is this area and then confirm screen which is the um, which is the screen you get when you click here when you are sort of ready to confirm your details. Um, state wise we have a few um, boolean values. We have show confirm screen which is which determines which screen you're going to be showed, whether it's the form or the confirmation screen. And we've also got toggle RSVPs, which controls this little element here. Um, and the toggle icon as well, which um, determines whether or not it's a plus or a minus, depending on whether it's toggled. And we also have RSVPs, which holds all of our current RSVPs. So we can kind of um, collate them into a list here. And error message, which holds our error message if the um, user doesn't put all of the correct information in. First of all, let's just take a quick look at our invite form component, which is um, this little element here. And um, in terms of, th this is actually a stateful component. So kind of like in my last video, I have an on change for the name. And I also have a, um, so it's, yeah, and I have a, I'm also setting the state um, on change for this little um, dietary requirements toggle. Um, I guess, and then the interesting stuff of passing the values from the pair, from the child back to the parent happen when you click on next. So when you click on next, what's actually happening is it's, um, is we're setting off this callback which passes a reference to on submit function via the props, which is down here, show confirm screen. Um, and what this does, where are we again? On submit is it first checks to make sure that um, the user has entered all the correct information that they've filled out both the name and the dietary requirements um, field. And if not, it's going to um, log the error. Um, otherwise, it is going to push those new values into the pen, uh, into a um, array which is called pending RSVP up in state. So once we have our um, new RSVP properties all set in that pending RSVP, we then need, like if the user is going to confirm, yes, they're correct, we then need to push them into our final RSVPs um, array. So how that happens is if we jump over to confirm screen, um, it's a pretty simple little um, component. We have this on click, which is props dot on confirm. If we jump back to app dot js, and we don't have to pass any values back because we've now 
save them an appearant component. Um, on confirm, we're just copying um, our RSVPs array and pushing our new one into it. And the last couple of things I'm just going to quickly go over um, are, first of all, we have um, this toggle function that is triggered when you click the little icon. Um, basically what that does is just switches that Boolean up here for the um, toggle RSVPs and also resets this little icon, depending on what we need. Um, and let's have a quick look at the render block because it's quite chunky this time. Um, obviously, we need to decide whether or not we're showing the for screen with the form or the screen with the confirm button. Um, so we have some conditional rendering um, based on this um, show confirm screen boolean up here. Um, and we are also here, we are collating, we're kind of um, collating our guest list to display over here by um, we, if there are no guests, then um, a little message actually comes up here that says no guests so far, but if there are, we then map through all of our RSVPs and pull out um, the data to, to display. Cool, that's plenty enough for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.